Welcome to the Lido eRoute Manual version 4.3 tutorial video, which focuses around the flight setup. In this version of the application, the user interface has been reworked to focus around pilot workflow and direct map interactions. One of the main improvements is the permanent display of the vertical and horizontal toolbars from which the user can access all three modules of the application, namely the terminal module, the enroute module, and the documents module from which the gen part is also available. There is no longer the need for a setup page and the enroute map is directly shown upon startup from which the flight can be set up. Before setting up your flight, you will need to check the database validity using the data status button located in the top right. It's permanently visible and allows you to confirm if you have up-to-date terminal and enroute data at a glance. This button will show three colored symbols for quick recognition of the update status. A green check mark, like indicated, indicates a current database and that no download is required. A yellow exclamation mark indicates that the Lido eRoute manual may still be used to navigate, but there are seven days or less until the data expires. And a red cross will warn you about an out-of-date database. Lido eRoute manual must not be used for operational purposes until a download has been completed. More information is available from the data status page if you click the button, where you can see the full data status of the database cycle and validity for terminal charts on the screen. Since our data is up to date, we can proceed with setting up our flight, which is done by accessing the route entry page. From there, you have three possibilities. You can either load an ICAO flight plan using the import route button, you can load a previously saved route, or you can directly enter your route in the scratch pad manually. In this example, I will load a saved route from Hamburg to Vienna, for example. The details of the route to be loaded appear in the scratch pad and I must then press the accept button to validate my route. The enroute map will zoom and pan to show your route in totality. The next step is to set up charts for your airports. This is achieved by selecting the all charts button and then selecting charts either directly in the list or by accessing the preview mode here and by using the previous and next buttons combined with the plus or minus button to add or remove a chart from your clip. In the list, I can also use the seven filter buttons on the right to refine my search. For example, if I wanna add a departure chart for runway 23, I can select the runway and then display only the SID chart that I need. Once my selection is complete, make sure you press the accept button to validate your choice. Your chart selection then appears in the airport submenu. To view a chart, simply select its name. And if you wish to reorder the order of the charts in your clip, you can use the reorder button and then the move up or move down button to change the location of the chart and click the reorder button again to lock it into place. If there are some charts that you no longer need in your clipboard, use the remove chart button here. The same workflow is used to set up clipboards for destination or any alternate airports you may require for your flight.